What's up guys? Welcome to chapter 4. In this chapter we're going to see how to create a walkthrough. And we will segregate it within two parts. One will be taking out the walkthrough and the next one will be rendering the walkthrough while setting the effects throughout the entire walkthrough. So let's get straight to it. Now when we talk about a walkthrough, we basically use walkthroughs for presentation purposes to submit a better video which because usually it is much better to see the entire design through a video. Now walkthroughs will easily be created by clicking on the movie symbol over here. Once you're done setting the entire environment and the, all the objects and all the materials, we can easily click on movie and we'll be shifted directly into a timeline. So as you can see, we have the timeline below. We have one, two, three, four, five and various different sets over here. We can go ahead and select various more. What each of these means is each scene over here will be one video and we can have three to four videos and play them back to back to create an entire walkthrough. Now to get into the walkthrough, we have three options over here. We have a record option, image from file, as well as the movie from file. Now the record option over here is going to let us actually create the walkthrough that we want. The image will basically let us select images from our desktop to add directly into the walkthrough. We can even click on movie from file and add a video into this walkthrough to enhance the beauty of the entire walkthrough even more. So it depends on how you wish to set your presentation, whether you want to have the entire recorded video of your walkthrough with some images as well as maybe the original site or an additional video in your walkthrough to enhance the presentation. But in this topic, we're going to be creating the walkthrough through record, which will be which we'll always be doing in the same way. Now, now let's get into record. So I'll select the record button and as you can see, we have a viewport over here. This viewport will basically let us see what kind of a angle and what kind of a movie we need to take. We can easily move within this viewport with our commands, same the W, S, A, D, Q, E. We can even scroll, scroll back. So the regular commands will work in this viewport. The next thing that we have is a photo session over here. Each photo click will create various different images as such and we can then play it to actually see the movement within the walkthrough. Now as you can see, I'll go ahead and delete one of these. To delete these, you can just single click on this trash can symbol over here. As I told you, nothing works from the keyboard. We need to be using all the commands on the given screen. As you can see, there is a two second range over here. Now, the two seconds basically means each single click is going to be of two seconds and each frame is also going to be of two seconds. Now, let's see how we set these various frames. We can set the first frame by setting up the camera from here itself. If we do, want, if we do not want to use our mouse and keyboard, we can also set the horizontal eye level or we can even set it at the eye level directly from these four options on the left of the viewport. And from here as I told you we will be taking a photo. So the first video we will be removing will be of the street of just these cars going by. So I will take a photo then I will go more in front take another photo take another photo as you can see I am doing it simultaneously. The reason I'm doing it simultaneously and at regular intervals is because we'll get a smoother flow of the entire video. Now you can see for the amount of photo photos that I have taken, we have 25.8 seconds in total. So when I play it, you'll notice that this will be the video which will take around 25.8 seconds to complete. You can see that it's going somewhere slow, somewhere fast. That's because if we take multiple photos in a short span of or in a short in a short length, then the video will be slow. But if we take lesser photos, the video will be faster. 
Now to increase the speed of this video, either we go back over here, delete these frames and create a new video or we can just reduce the total time. So I'll just be reducing it to 20 seconds over here. And I'll play it. So as you can see, the video has increased in speed and it's not that slow anymore. Now, just looking at the video, you'll understand that I have kind of taken the entire road scene and then I'm focusing on the gate. The reason that we have set this particular scene is because we'd want to show all the cars moving on the road with all the humans walking everywhere. Also, we'll want to show the gate opening and the car coming out. So that would be our first scene. Please remember that when you're taking a walkthrough, many times it might be that you might, you know, break into a certain material. I will show you that in a couple of minutes, but you should not let that happen because that is not good. So you would not want to go through a car or you would not want to go through a pole or through a tree or through a wall because that won't really look good in the walkthrough and we'll have to do a lot of editing in that then. So I'll just press the pause button over here. I can reduce this by maybe just one more second to make it a little bit more faster. And I'll press the back symbol over here to say that we are done. Now, once I'm done with the first number over here, I'm going to set the second scene. So the first scene is of a road. Let the second scene be of the entire building. So what we can do is we can do an approach video, what I would like to call it. It's basically that you stay far away from the building and you create an approach towards the building like this. So as you can see now I'm covering longer portions and I am trying to gain a much faster video of this approach. So that would be a really good video. I'll just go ahead and play it for you guys. As you can see we are going through the green field towards the building. So the building is right now in focus. And we're going to be just focusing on the entire building. So we can do a maybe day to night shift of the entire weather. So we'll think about what we should be doing when we work on the effects. Now again, I think this is a little bit slow. So we can increase it by just reducing the time as I told you. So I'll keep it at around say 17 seconds. I think 70.5. So let's have a look at it. still should be a little bit faster. I think 12 is good. Yeah. Because we don't want to even stretch out a video because it starts to get a little boring when you have a very, very long video of the same thing. It should be short. It should be fast and quick. That's where usually walkthroughs range anywhere between two minutes to two and a half minutes and they are of big size. So though this is just one building, we would prefer keeping this walkthrough maybe to a minute or so, not more than that. The entire walkthrough, of course. So once I'm done with this, I'll press the pause button and I'll press the back symbol over here. So now I've set the second video as well. Let's go into the third video. So I'll select the third scene and I'll press the record button. For this, I'd like to do an aerial view of the entire building. So just showing the entire surroundings as well of the entire building. Something like that. And let's take a photo. As you can see, a bit of the building is getting cut on the top. So I want to redo this. So what we can do is we can press back and just delete the entire frame from here and click on the record button again. So 
so we get the entire video within with the building within it as such and I think that's fine but as you can see we had taken around 31 seconds to complete this entire video so we'll just go ahead and reduce the time to let's say somewhere around 18 seconds and I'll play it now so we get the entire view of the building and how it's going to look. Again, we can do maybe a day to night shift within this building. And that's that. So I think this is decent. Uh, maybe we can make it a little bit faster. So I'd say around 15 seconds. Yeah, this seems like a much better and quicker view of the entire building. Now I'll press the pause button and I'll go back. And let's go now to the fourth scene over here. Well, I call this scene the still scene. That means that we'll just stay here looking at the building. Now we are going to maybe use the two point perspective as we have used it in the render. We'll see about it, but we need to live enough amount of gap on top because once it stands up, it actually covers a lot of the uh, empty portion so all of this should be kept in mind now still video basically is going to be of eight seconds so one two three and four yeah so i'm just going to set myself over here and I'm going to leave a gap on top over here. So the still video is going to be of around 8 seconds. So so the still video is going to be of around 8 seconds. So 1, 2 and 3. Now we have the 3 8 seconds which you can see is just the still video within this video we're going to be showing a lot of the motion like as if the cars are moving and the people are walking but we are still in the one single frame and I'll press the back button now you guys can see that we have set our four scenes together without any effects so let's go ahead and click on the entire movie just to view how the entire movie is going to be played once we click the entire movie I can just click on play and we can see the entire movie as you can see these lines in between show us when the movie is going to change from each scene to another scene so the first one being the view of the entire road with the door opening and the car coming out and the next one being the approach video We have the entire building view from here. Bring the building right in the center. And then we have the still scene. Of course we can, so I'll just click on the entire movie symbol and pause this. Of course we can drag and drop these in places the way we want to set it. So we can do that later, but for now, I want you guys to go ahead and create these similar types of videos and then we'll go ahead and in the next topic we'll see how to add effects and create the entire walkthrough. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please don't forget to pause and rewind and play it again so you guys get the entire depth of the video. I'll see you guys in the next topic. Take care.